Hey, what up everybody? I'm Cynical. And this is Gems of War on PS4. And today we have Invasions, the weekend event. Uh, I think it's the second or third time they've done this. Uh, where your guild has two different events during a week. And the first one this week was Tower of Doom. And now we have Invasion on the weekend. So, I think it's the second time they've done it. Um, but it's pretty cool because you get a lot of extra resources for doing two guild events during a week. Um, and it shortens it down to three days. So, not bad. Still the same amount of rewards, I think. And it's uh, condensed into three days. The only bad part is it's a, the same troop again. Um, different weapon, but same troop. So we got Old Man Oakroot, but he is a really good invasion troop. He tears armor and then, um, you know, does the normal, uh, captain type thing, um, or whatever, siege breaker. Does the normal siege breaker type thing where, uh, he pretty much one shots the towers, um, but he also tears armor, so he does two jobs in one. We have this fairy ring here, deal 35 damage to an enemy boosted by fey allies, then create a mix of six green and purple gems for each fey ally. So one of those kind of weapons um, could be relevant one day, maybe, so make sure you get it if you can. Um, I understand if you can't, but recommend that you get it if you can, just so you have it. And I need to make sure not to move too much, because I think that's what's been screwing up my audio. And I swear if I screw up my audio for a whole video again, I'm going to be mad. But I got a new mic coming, so that's a good thing. Uh, so let's make a team here. I haven't even thought about this at all. I'm just making it a spur-of-the-moment team. You guys seem to like that anyway, at least the people that comment. Um, don't really want to see meta teams, which it's always going to be kind of meta just because I got like the best troops like in my brain, so I'm going to be using them. But I can make a, like, a little bit less meta team every once in a while uh, just by, I don't know, not picking certain troops or... I don't know. Because most of the time in Invasion, you would use Mang, and then the Event Troop, maybe possibly two of the Event Troop, and then some sort of Mana Generator. Uh, and that's what you would use. That or maybe two Event Troops, and a uh, Mountain Crusher, and another Mana Generator, or something like that. But yeah, the, there's a pretty clear formula to this event. You either use Mang... Earth's Fury, Trickster's Shot, and then you either use one or two of the Event Troop, whatever the Siege Breaker is, Old Man Oak Root here, which we already had because we already did this event before. Um, he's really good though, so using two of him this week wouldn't be a bad idea, but I think I'm just going to use one for now, perhaps show a team with two of them later on. So just building this team, pulling it out of my butt, and... Um, you know, I wanted to use Trickster Shot for once instead of Mang or Earth's Fury. I think we've used it a little bit more uh, often recently, uh, at least once or twice. So I'm trying to throw in the Trickster Shot every once in a while, whether it fits in or not. But it does pretty well on this team. This team is actually pretty good. Um, the Yasmin's Chosen um, kind of screws screws the team up a little bit, but it's also good too. So it works sometimes, and it works doesn't work other times. The reason I say that is the Yasmin's Chosen hits all enemies, and it doesn't do true damage, so it's going to knock their armor down. And Trickster Shot and Old Man Okru both strip armor. Old Man Okru doesn't need the armor for anything, he just strips it. But the Trickster Shot does <clears throat> need it for something to get more power. So the only the only problem is you gotta cast your trickster shot before the Yasmin, or not even cast the Yasmin at all and just uh, use her occasionally for all that green that she uh, makes on the board, and maybe to clean up. And she did pretty well cleaning up, I have to say. I was a little bit uh, nervous after using her for a few battles. I thought, oh man, I'm gonna have to get her out of here because she's knocking the armor off. But as long as you don't use her till like towards the end of the battle to clean up. Or to make a bunch of green for your other troops. She's not too bad. And she entangles when you match green. and So you get an entangle and a um, hunter's mark with your trickster shot. And 
Old Man Oak Root can pretty much solo any towers. But here in the beginning, this is the very first battle, so you're just... You know, you can kill... Kill easily. A lot of green going on. I'm using Monk because I'm leveling up Monk. Um, double green banner. Plus purple. Uh, minus, uh, I can't remember, blue, I think. Something like that. I always forget to say my banner, but, um, yeah. Do two green, one purple. Basically. And then, if you want to use a, a class, uh, that's gonna help you out, use Titan. Once again, a meta suggestion, I'm sorry, but... It's just, um, I'm trying to help people get through the event, so I'm, yeah, I gotta suggest the best things to help to make that happen. So some people want to get more creative with it, make some more creative teams, use some different classes. But there's also people out there that just want to get through the uh, event and get the rewards, and they just want to hear what's the best way to go. So I'm trying to, like, skirt the line both ways. But hey, guys, please subscribe. There's 65% of you out there that are watching and are not subscribed. I just need like 40 more subscribers to hit 2k and that's all I'm asking for. I won't ask for subscribers ever again. Uh, maybe once we get close to 5k or something but just want to hit that 2k, get that 1 out of there, just get that 2 in there and uh, I probably just lied saying I won't ever ask again but maybe when we hit 3k or something but I'm definitely not going to do it every 100. Uh, but it's a real big milestone, 2K subscribers, so if you're listening right now and you haven't subscribed yet, please take a little bit of extra time and hit that subscribe button, make an account or whatever. Um, or, if you're already subscribed, go uh, on your grandma's account, your mom's account, your uh, sister, your fiance, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever, and uh, maybe have them subscribe. But that, I really appreciate it, I'm trying to get to 2K. Only need like 40 or less. So maybe you can be that 2K. Tell me that you were and I will uh, I'll give you a shout out if you're the, the 2K subscriber. Cool. So that was the um, uh, early battles there. So it didn't really show very much except for that it's not slow and it can be done. Uh, so here's some further on battles. We got three towers right here. <clears throat> voice doesn't want to cooperate. I hope the audio is cooperating. I'm trying to stay still. I got my controller down on the table. I got the... my head as still as possible. Uh, what I think is wrong with the mic is the cord where it connects to the the headset. I think it, it's... Uh, I had to put electrical tape on it because it was coming off. And um, so I think it's uh, cutting out whenever I move. So I bought a new mic. It's not the best one ever, but it's better than this one. So I started out with a mic that came with the PS4. So if you watch some of my early, early videos, I don't use a mic at all. And then we get further along, I use that mic, which came with the PS4, so it's the cheapest thing ever. It's free. Then I upgraded to the one I'm using now, which was like $15 to $20. It wasn't expensive at all, uh, but it was better than the PS4 mic, right? And now we've upgraded again. Uh, I'm getting like a $40 mic, so not the best, but not the worst, but somewhere in the middle, it should be better than this one, and then once we get to like, you know, 3k, 4k subscribers, maybe I'll upgrade to a, you know, 50, 60 dollar mic or something, but we're just making our way up, but I guess I better subscribe, um, subscribe, I got subscribe on the brain, I, best, I guess I better describe this team, I really want that 2k, it's just stuck in my brain. Alright, so you got your Leprechaun here, so you would um, blow up your Leprechaun whenever you need mana early on in the battle. That'll usually give you your Old Man Oak Root. Shoot at the bottom tower, because you do not want to be um, starting from the top. You want to start from the bottom with him, uh, because you want to be using your Trickster Shot from the top to the bottom. Your Trickster Shot will give you a Hunter's Mark. Uh, it needs the armor to get stronger. You're usually only going to be able to cast it once, uh, but start from the top to the bottom with the Trickster Shot and go from the bottom to the top with the Old Man Oak Root. And then Yasmin's there just to clean up. You don't want to be using her early on when everything still has armor. Um, that's not going to be helpful at all except for giving you green uh, gems. 
So, you know, you got Enchant on, you got um, Explosion, you got a Leprechaun. You should be able to get your Old Man Oak Root up and your Trickster Shot up before your Yasmin. So, it should never really be a problem. But don't cast her before you cast them. Always cast them first. And I'd almost recommend doing... I think I do Old Man Oak Root and then Trickster Shot and then uh, Yasmin, I guess. But usually you can cast one of the first two twice before you cast her. But right here we're going to want to do Old Man Oak Root because he can one-shot any tower because he strips their armor first. So it doesn't matter how big and bad they get. He's always going to strip their armor and then do a ton of damage because he's designed to take out towers. The only other thing going on here is the uh, blue and brown towers have the really str big strong armor. So sometimes you want to get rid of them with Old Man Oak Root because they're harder to take out with skulls. Which is the other way we're doing our damage with skulls. Um, if you have your Old Man Oak Root fully ascended... He will pretty much one-shot any tower uh, with skulls, except for the blue and brown one. Blue and brown one is super tough. It has like 50% uh, skull reduction or something. Probably even better than that. But yeah, I thought I'd just throw in a trickster shot, a, a Yasmin. Do something a little different. If you do not have Yasmin, you can do another Old Man Oak Root. And maybe put two of them, put Old Man Oak Root, Old Man Oak Root, Trickster Shot, Leprechaun. Or take the Trickster Shot totally out, put in a Mountain Crusher, put Mountain Crusher somewhere, maybe the second slot. Have Old Man Oak Root, Mountain Crusher, Old Man Oak Root, Leprechaun, something like that. Um, I won't be showing that team, but if you just not, don't have Trickster Shot, you don't have Yasmin, that would be the team you would use. I would go Old Man Oak Root, Mountain Crusher with Titan, Old Man Oak Root, Leprechaun. But this seems to be working pretty well. It worked better than I thought. I really thought I was going to have to take Yasmin out of here and put something else in. Yasmin's chosen. Because the way she works, she just does damage to all enemies, which pretty much gets rid of their armor. And we need that armor for the Trickster Shot. So I thought it was going to be this big problem, but it wasn't that bad of a problem. The only thing with this team is that the Trickster Shot is not getting super powerful. It's uh, only gaining like one uh, troop, one enemy's uh, armor's worth of uh, magic. Instead of like two or three to get really powerful. It's only getting like one, but it's helping out. It's Hunter's Marking, which we don't really need because Old Man Ochre can one-shot anyway. But... I don't know, I just wanted to use it, and it worked out fine, and the green, there's like green storms going on, and um, hunter's marks, and entangles, and it just worked out. I wasn't sure if it was going to, though, with the Yasmin's Pride, or the Yasmin's Chosen, my bad. I always get those two names mixed up, Yasmin's Pride and Yasmin's Chosen. But I want to repeat myself again, if you have any games that you'd like me to play... I've said this in the last like two or three videos, I'm sorry. Just trying to get it straightened out, and then I'll quit talking about it. But any games you want me to get in the... That I can get on PlayStation 4. That's the first ca uh, caveat. The first condition is it has to be on PS4, and I have to be able to buy it digitally. Well, not really. Just it has to be on PS4. That's the main one. And then a lot of people on the channel have to want to watch it. Or I have to want to play it like Sekiro... I want to play that. It goes with the theme of my channel with the Dark Souls and the Bloodborne. Sekiro would be the obvious next step. Or something like Neo, Neo 2, Hollow Knight, stuff like that. Something that's going to go along with the Dark Souls theme. Or the Gems of War theme. So, Puzzle Quest, I found out, is on PS4. Uh, there's some Marvel Puzzle Quest. Uh, it's probably a cheesy kids game, but I don't know because I've never played it. And then, like, horror games would be the other thing I would possibly want to play. You could hear me scream like a girl. We could both get scared together. And, uh, you could see me going through, like, some scary, uh, game. And trying to figure out how to get through it. And getting scared and, you know, crapping my pants. 
Uh, there's Infliction on the store right now. There's Resident Evil 3 Remake. Uh, stuff like that. So, last time I'll mention it, too. So, subscribe. Get me to 2K. Put some games down in the comments that you want me to play. That you think the whole channel will want to watch. Or that I will enjoy. Um, like a Dark Souls vibe. So, Dark Souls vibe, or Gems of War vibe, or Horror vibe. Vibe. Is what I'm preferring, uh, the suggestions to be. Um, don't go talking about, like, I don't know, some weird game like Minecraft or Fortnite. <laughs> I'm sure none of you will, because most of you are, uh, think along the same lines as me, or each other. But yeah, not much, not much to say about this team. The, um, the Siege Breaker is awesome. Old Man Oak Root is probably the best Siege Breaker around, because he can one-shot forever. He never stops one-shotting. So you almost want to put two on your team, but I didn't want to do that. I just made a spur of the moment team and I used it the whole way through. Um, use old man oak root from the top to the bottom. Use trickster shot from the use trickster shot from the top to the bottom. Use old man oak root from the bottom to the top. Um, use Yasmin after you you already use trickster shot. So Yasmin definitely comes after trickster shot. So I used her right there, you see, but she didn't do very much. But she did put a lot of green on the board, plus there's a green storm. So it kind of gets your mana back up. Um, it's already, like, towards the end of the battle anyway. So she isn't really counterproductive, but she doesn't really help as much as I wanted her to either. But, you know, it worked out. It did work out. I didn't have any trouble. What I was trying to find is like a, if there was a true damage, some sort of true damage, uh, extra help there, or um, I don't know what I was looking for. I was looking for something that would make green, that used a different color. So she used brown, and she made green, and she entangled, but her stupid spell is the thing that got in the way, where it not, was knocking off their armor. And I didn't really see anything. I mean, there's Queen Titania, there's, um, Glitter Claw, um, King Bloodwood. There was nothing, the problem was there wasn't very many good options, so. You got, like, Famine, like, I don't know. There was not very many good options, so she was the best option. She doesn't go super well with the goal of the team but um makes a bunch of green so i'm gonna take her out of here put in a second old man oak root if i can find it and just show you that you may want to use like a mountain crusher or a mang or an earth's fury but i'm just gonna stick with the trickster shot the whole time sometimes i don't want to show the best team ever the meta team Sometimes people want to see me just make a team and uh, see if I can make it with it. I don't know. I get I get in this uh, conundrum where I think I have to show like the best team ever. Um, and then I got people telling me, don't always show meta teams. And then I think, well, what if I show you a team and then it doesn't work for you and then you waste a bunch of sigils and whatever? Like That's what I worry about. I worry that I show you a team, it doesn't work for you, and you lose sigils and you don't make it to the end. I, I honestly got, um, you know, your best interests at heart. I don't want you to fail. So it makes me nervous when I make teams because I do not want you guys to fail. So I don't know how to say it otherwise. But it's a concern whenever I make teams. Like, I want to be creative. First of all, I'm not the best at making teams. Uh, other people are probably be better than me at that. Um, second of all, I don't want you guys to fail. If I show a team that doesn't work at the end and you're, like, losing sigils. Uh, third, um, I don't know. I got, like, meta in, in my brain. Like, not always, but most of the time I do. But I don't know, and I don't want to see you guys fail, so I don't want to make a team that's just... It's kind of fun, though. It's fun to make a, just a random team and, like, see how far you can make it with it. So that's the other side of the coin, is just 
don't think too hard about it. Do whatever f comes to you know your mind first, and then see how far you can make it and improve it along the way if you if you need to. But there's two like schools of thought, two different sides of the coin. It's a very hard line to tread for me. Don't want you guys to fail. Don't want to always show meta. Not great at making teams, but if I just make a random team that uh spur of the moment team, I don't want you to think that I think that's the best team ever and you're going to get all the way to the end and then you're going to start losing and lose your sigils, but yeah, I just got your best interests at heart. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, let's see what we get here. Orb of Clans, <clears throat> second best orb for me right now. So that's not bad. Look at me, I'm at first. Yee-hoo! Like, share, subscribe. Please subscribe, we need 2k. Put that game in the comments. Put your team in the comments, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.